pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. So let's start talking yeah, about these drinks we got. I think we're all got different stuff here today. Um, we're gonna start with mine. This is the Paper Salesman, Paper Salesman uh, Pale, Ale. Pale Ale, Hazy as Tits, just how I like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you tell me, for Scott, it's the uh, Galaxy Pellets and um, Mosaic, Mosaic Lupulin, Lupulin Powder. Yes, nice. uh, and then lots of oats. Um, yeah, basically just trying to make it like soft and fruit forward and eat really easy drinking. You um, said no bittering hops, all super late additions. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we've been going that right route uh, for most of our hoppy beers. Like, there's lots of people that have been doing that, and we love their beers. So we just yeah. sort of took notes. Do the same, them. yeah. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we've been doing that with most of our paleos and IPAs these days. Um, just sort of dialing that in. It's been a little bit of a trial and error thing, but yeah. uh, we're pretty happy with. Um, the little amount of bitterness we get and lots of flavor. Um, cool. So, yeah. So it was like a, a conscious thing to sort of move towards that hazy, uh, like styles for you guys. The juicy. Yeah. yeah. This beer, uh, in particular, is a good a good example of the evolution around here because this this the first time a, a beer by this name appeared was two years ago and uh, it was the same grain bill but everything else about it was completely different. Right. Um, you know, I mean, Scott really went to work on it and. Uh, when it came back, it, it had its fans, and they didn't recognize it anymore, and loved it. And the other people who'd never tried the old incarnation love it, and it's just it. kind of snowballed. But you know, this is kind of what hoppy beers at Dominion City have become and evolved into over the last couple of years. So I feel like uh, we talk about it almost mm -hmm. constantly. It's just such a cool thing to see Canadian breweries really like adapt to it. Then I feel like you guys in Bellwoods are probably the some of the two that have really gone hard. And it sounds like um, interesting you said that that the the beer had evolved over the time because uh, that seems to come up a lot give that the people they, what they want right Don't, yeah uh, I guess this, yeah. Is, this is the trend this is the direction that it's going in and I feel like uh, a lot of the breweries were maybe initially hesitant to yeah. kind of like get into doing that maybe because Canadians the palates hadn't uh, caught up with the trend totally guess, yeah any issues with that at all or any thoughts on, on that type of stuff I think that when like we just started doing it maybe six eight months ago six months ago well you were piloting long before that but we released the yeah. first one probably six eight months ago yeah, yeah like uh yeah i mean we take a trip down to vermont and then try a bunch of <laughs> delicious changes, beers changes a couple years ago game. next thing you know we were like i don't know trying to figure it out and um i was actually like home brewing beers like this for myself um just trying to like figure it out dial it in um so we actually had this on top of my house for like i don't know good like Maybe six months. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Yeah, so I had a constant flow of it. Um, but it's, yeah, I don't know, it's just sort of come around. Like, we really enjoy it, and it just, yeah, I don't know, we're always working on it. And, like, always evolving, uh, more or less. Like, almost every batch of beer that we make, there's a tweak in it. Um, right. Which Does is gonna, like improve it a little bit. Yeah, I mean we're always learning. Like we, we you know, we, we're sort of learning on the fly when we started, anyways. So it's like we're. Just we're still to, learning. We're yeah. yeah. Uh, so and then we can exchange knowledge with other people, like at a conference like this, and cha exchange techniques. And um, so it's really neat to be able to try that on every batch. And uh, sometimes we don't want to make things super different, but sometimes it's like, yeah, it's, the drastic changes can happen, and it's awesome. Um, Fantastic. Sometimes we, we go back on that, but it's, yeah. it's good. Either way, give the feedback and keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the cool thing I think is like when we, I mean, we're almost three years old here, uh, which isn't that long really. No. But when we were designing beers, uh, you know, to open with, they came from my backyard. It's sort of like, you know, the, the least interesting origin story of getting yeah. <laughs> yeah. a craft brewery, home brewers. But, uh, like our, you know, the styles we had then were a product of what was popular at that time and even before that time. Right. And so, what I think is cool now is that guys like Scott and the other guys on our on our brewing team are bringing new ideas and things I was never going to get to right. myself, uh, especially once you get into it and stuff's pulling you lots of different ways. But what, now we have a team who get it and who are out there and they're like <laughs> researching and talking to people and coming up with new ideas and like we're making better beer because of it. Mm -hmm. And the really cool thing is to see that Ottawa as a market has really evolved beyond what they thought they were comfortable with, even since we've been open. Right. The idea that you can you know, release a turbid, hazy, juicy IPA, I mean, that's something nobody had seen or was doing, no. even when we opened, so it's kind of no, cool. It's very, very cool, I love it. Uh, what do you got there, man? Same? I'm, do, I'm drinking the same as you. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, so we got twinsies. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Twinies. 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 Yeah. What do you fellas got over there? That little sexy red guy. This is, uh, yeah, this is a beer we've done before. Uh, the base beer is called Canada Goza. Okay. Uh, and it's a kettle-soured uh, German-style wheat beer. 
How oh, yeah. it goes is I brewed with uh, sea salt and coriander. So the base beers remain more or less the same since the last time it was around, but this time uh, we introduced some Concord grape. So nice. it's uh, it's the kind Ooh. of beer you can taste in your cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How is it for a morning beer? Uh, it's actually this, working this for like me. Tailor made for a morning beer. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we made be. that decision on yeah. Friday. We, we, it was either carbonate this or like a coffee IPA we have yeah. in the tank. Yeah. And like, so this came up. We thought that might be really nice. It has yeah, like so. a, a, a mimosa like feel to it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, that's sick. Great, great I'm feeling myself beer. come back to life. As yeah, before, right? So. To be honest, yeah, because with each sip. Before, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is about it's to be a really sweaty enough. interview. Yeah. Just like alcohol coming out. Oh, just boost sweats out of control. It's weird how more of a thing makes it better, but anyway. Let's not talk about that too long. Science.